Hello. Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Little Like Hack 12 Cast Ons of Christmas. My name is Amanda. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a knitting podcast mostly, sometimes with a bit of crochet. And at the moment I am vlogging every day, casting on 12 new projects in 12 days. This is part of the make along run by Yarn and Yarns and Ange. And as always with these vlogs, I've been linking her YouTube channel below. So a massive welcome to new subscribers. Have had a few new people joining me this last week or so, uh, which is great. Thank you very much. I hope you've been enjoying watching me cast on all of these projects and that you'll stay with me um, and watch the progress through the year. So today's cast on. Um, I have I had already planned out in advance what I was going to cast on. Um, but I must admit these last few I've been debating what order to do them in, which day to do what, etc. But I decided to do this one today um, for a couple of reasons. It is New Year's Eve, it is 31st of December and this evening um, I wanted something that I could carry on working on maybe this evening so it would be relatively mindless I'm hoping once I get into the swing of it. If not I'll switch to one of my, uh, one of my um, easier projects. So I'm hoping I can knit on this this evening. Also, I've had the wool winder and ball winder, etc. out um, all week because I've been winding lots of skeins of yarn. This, I think, is the last project that is going to involve any winding of skeins. I think everything else is going to be already skeined up or in uh, commercial balls of yarn. So this is the last one that's going to involve any winding. So I thought once I've got this wool, wool wound up as well, then I can um, pop the wool winder, swift, etc. away. So that's another reason for doing it today. Um, so I'm also beginning to get a little bit worried about um, needles, but I think we're okay. Today's project uh, that I'm going to be casting on is a shawl. Um, and so it does say a full mill long cable. <laughs> this is how long this cable is. <laughs> So that's way too long, way too long. Never mind. So I have got a couple of really, really long cables um, because many years ago I knitted a couple of blankets that I knitted in the round and just made them really, really, really big. And I reached a point where they were on two of these cables um, and I had a connector. These are the Knit Pro or Knit Picks um, cables and I had two of these connected. So I still have these um, cables. So they are ridiculously long, probably not going to need to be this long, but eh, I can always put it onto a shorter cable, um, put it onto a shorter cable later as more cables become free or not. Anyway, so I've got really long cable, four mil needles. Um, so what is today's project? Yes, yeah, so I mentioned it's a shawl and it is a shawl by my friend Penny, Penny Baker. It is called the Lime Wash Shawl and she released this pattern, I think, in November. I saw a tester, uh, Suzanne, I'd seen her version of it that she had test knitted um, and she'd put her version of it up on Instagram. And as soon as I saw it, I thought, oh, that's such a nice pattern, really clean lines, really quite simple. Um, and I just, yeah. Uh, and in fact, if it wasn't for the fact that I'd got quite a lot of projects already on the go and I was trying to get things off the needles before Christmas, I would have cast it on pretty much straight away. But I decided I, got, I took off, uh, advantage of Penny's early bird offers. She often does offers where you can buy the pattern before she releases it. You can buy it at a, a discounted price. So I did that, bought the pattern at the discounted price. And in fact, I was on holiday. I was on a weekend away with my brothers. So it was in October. Yeah, middle of October, and I was a weekend away down in where were we? Minehead. So I actually walked into Minehead um, to find some yarn for this project. So again, this is one of those projects that will have the memories of buying the yarn and the weekend away I had with my brothers. So I was a little bit limited on the choice of what I could put together and have, but I'm quite, I am still pleased with what I picked out. So for the lime wash shawl, you need um, 200 grams of DK weight in your contrasting or your main colour, which, um, is, uh, which I'm using grey. And I'm using West Yorkshire Spinners, the Croft, which is a DK weight, and it's 100% Shetland wool. Um, what I hadn't also spotted on this is it's 100% Shetland wool, it's West Yorkshire Spinners. It also has got 
Jameson and Smith on here as well. It says in association with Jameson and Smith. So maybe they uh, provided the actual wool itself because I know that they are specialist in um, Shetland wool. And it also says curated by Sarah Hatton. And I've mentioned Sarah Hatton before, her, her being one of my um, favourite designers. Um, so I'm just guessing she chose the colour, basically. So this colourway is called Clate and it's 1152. And it is, as you can just see, just a, a pretty grey. Uh, you know, it's a, a nice grey. So I've got two of those. And... I looked at the other colours in the Croft colourway, but they weren't speaking to me and I didn't feel I'd got enough contrast. Um, so I then picked out some Serdar Tweed. Um, you just you need three contrasting colours, 50 grams of each. So I have gone for this blue. And the colourway for this is Hockney Blue which I think is 0903. And so this is Haworth Tweed. Um, Haworth, I think, is a village or small town in Yorkshire, I think. And it's 50% wool, 50% nylon. 50% merino wool, actually. Um, it is really soft and it's just very slightly tweedy. And then I've got, again, the uh, Haworth Tweed in this sort of gingery orange colour and this one is called Rydell Russet so yeah kind of like a ready orange and I think they're going to go really nicely and then let's face it it wouldn't be one of my projects if it didn't have purple in it so we do also have this dark purple and this colourway is Heathered Bilberry what a lovely name so the three of those together look like that and obviously these do not need winding and then if we hold that next to one of these grey I'm hoping oh get my hair into everything so yeah we'll I'm, I'm looking forward to, to knitting this one up actually I think it's a little bit um, different to, to my usual style um and obviously having the sort of the red and the blue is a little bit different but we've still got the purple in there. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm going to get cast on today. And we'll see my progress on it. But yeah, as I say, I think, um, because a lot of it is garter stitch, I think it should be a relatively straightforward to get started and to keep working on this evening. Um, plans for this evening? We don't really have any plans. Eldest daughter is working till 10 o'clock. Youngest daughter has volunteered to go and pick her up at 10 o'clock because she's working at half six tomorrow morning. So she's not planning on drinking anyway. So her husband and I, we might have a couple of glasses of wine, um, but we're not going to be doing, doing anything too heavy. And have a nice meal. That's what this is for, actually. Um, but again, a relatively light meal. We're um, going to have going to have starters. We're going to have prawn cocktails to start. And then um, we used to buy, get the HelloFresh boxes um but we've still got all the the recipe cards so we are going to have korean beef style tacos and then just leftover mince pies cheese and biscuits things like that this evening so that would be nice not uh, not too heavy um something a little bit different so that's what we're having for dinner this evening so i've got to go shopping and what's time now quarter past two i think i'll get this cast on get this started then i'll go do the shopping um what we've we done this morning took the dog out for a walk uh, cleaned out the chickens uh, um, yeah relatively chilled day tomorrow is exciting because tomorrow is the start of the soxy and you know it cal um so tomorrow i will be picking out i already know that i'm going to be knitting um self-striping vanilla socks that's what i'll be casting on tomorrow but i don't know what the yarn will be because uh, back in November I picked out 12 skeins of yarn and wrapped them up and 
got my husband to number them randomly. So tomorrow we're picking out skein number one. And all I know is that it's self-striping and it will have purple. That's all I know. So that's going to be fun tomorrow, opening that up and uh, getting that one cast on. So there's no surprises tomorrow as to what the cast on will be. And if you want to join in with that knit along, uh, then do check out my uh, previous um, podcasts where I talk about that in a bit more detail and there is a Ravelry group uh, uh, Little ICAC podcast on Ravelry and if you want to get involved um, then basically you just need to knit a pair of socks you have two months to knit each pair although uh, I'm, my plan is to try and knit 12 pairs in 12 months <laughs> so anyway right that's enough of that let's get this cast on uh, oh yeah I need to wind the yarn as well <laughs> Get this unwound, get this cast on, get the shopping done, and I'll see you later. Bye for now. So good morning, update time on the line wash shawl. So yes, this was going really well. It is, it is as I thought it would be, quite intuitive. Um, and I worked on this till probably about nine o'clock last night. And then I switched to, what did I switch to? The litmus cow while I was having a glass of wine or two to celebrate New Year's Eve. So, um, show you the project bag actually that I've put this one into. This is the lime wash shawl that I started. No, it's not. I'm lying. That is not the project bag I've put that. I've put the um, um, rocket tea in that one. Uh, so try again. I put the lime wash shawl into this bag, which is a bag um, from the Woolly Tangle. And so yes, so this is how far I got. I don't think that's bad. I think that's pretty good. And I really like these colours, how they're coming out. It's got a bit of an autumnal feel, I think, which is not surprising because I bought the yarn in October. Um, and interestingly, my daughter, eldest daughter, quite likes the look of it. So I have said to her, because she's never really worn any shawls or scarves, she doesn't wear scarves or anything. I said to her, well, when I finish this one, if she wants to try it, take it with her when I've finished it and kind of try out using a scarf shawl. If she doesn't use it, doesn't like it, she can just give it back to me. But she really liked this blue, actually. That was the one she really liked. So yeah, that is how much I got done. I have been mostly weaving in the ends as I go. There's a couple I've missed, like, missed that one last night uh oh no no I will weave that one in as I go across so yeah it is really intuitive once you get started um it's going to need a little bit of blocking the yarn interestingly when I was knitting with it last yesterday I was feeling that the yarn is a little bit it is probably a little bit more rustic than because I use a lot of merino and um this one is a Shetland wool, so it is a little bit more rustic than what I usually would use, but it's not not rough. Um, but yeah, really good progress. Enjoying this a lot. So, right, I will uh, get this one put away <laughs> and uh, see you tomorrow for the next cast on.